In the state of Georgia, I've never once been on a farm or a homestead that didn't have a fly issue in the warm weather months. It's just part of the environment. Um, I don't think it's possible that you could be completely fly free. And even flies do serve a purpose on a homestead. But there are some things you can do to help prevent them from getting un unmanageable. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I have a few different things. Um, first, to try to prevent flies altogether, I'm gonna be using these fly exterminators, setting them up strategically where flies breed around our farm. And then for the flies that already do exist, I'm gonna also set up some fly traps. So just to help out and it should make a difference. So I'm trying to draw the existing flies away from the areas that we congregate in our backyard, away from our house. Uh, so I'm finding areas that are near enough to where the flies are breeding to draw them away from those areas and not towards our house. So sort of on the fringes, the outskirts, the corners, I'm putting up fly traps. Fly traps stink. It's important to know that, that they do attract flies because they haven't attracted inside that stinks. So you don't want to put a fly trap right next to your house or somewhere where you're going to be downwind from it. You want to put them somewhere that's going to draw the flies away from the areas that you want to be at. So if put them somewhere where you don't want the flies and you're going to attract the flies to that area, not to where you're going to be. away from the areas that we congregate and away from our animals shelters away from our animal shelters away from the animal shelters now as for inside our animal shelters that's where I'm putting the fly predators fly exterminators um, nature's good guys is the company that made these uh, the instructions say to put them out every 30 days there's a recommended number per animal um, and they come in the different size packages in any case they are shipped to you already in the pupa stage they hatch out of these and they make their way down they come in a pupa stage like this they hatch out of these little eggs they come out the top they're free to come out they're little tiny flying insects and then they make it down to the ground level and they'll find where flies are breeding and that's where they do their work exterminating um, pretty beneficial insect stop playing with the flies and come jump in the pool with us daddy <laughs> she says come jump in the pool or else she's gonna blow hot air at me boy these things work fast I just hung it up. I literally have flies caught right after putting it up. No joke. They really work. They do attract flies. They do trap flies. But they stink. So don't put it close to where you're going to be. Put it where you're trying to get the flies to come away from. Now I refilled some of the bags I used from last year and they're still extra. The other instructions say that you can pour this directly onto a fly breeding area or like where there's a lot of animal manure and they can still hatch there. When you pour it out you're going to want to make sure you at least cover it so birds can't come eat, um, can't come eat these insects. Not a treat for you. Now I don't expect that we'll ever be completely fly free here in Georgia, um, but what I just did should at least help keep the flies away from our house, uh, where our family likes to hang out, away from our garden, and away from where the animals hang out um, and sleep. There cut that cut it out cut it cut it out 
keep the flies away from where the animals sleep and keep the flies away from where we hang out and help eliminate as many as we can.